mask. No, it's a training mask. It, it. It, it actually has a, um, a, you know, you can, it's, it's actually to increase your CO2 sensitivity. Got it. Okay. And so you can, you can change the, uh, the setting as to how restrictive it is. Got it. But you're already at like 6,000 feet altitude, right? That doesn't help your CO2. Okay. You know, I mean, because your breathing is really a fu function of your CO2. Got it. I mean, your, your urge to breathe is a function of your CO2. All Sensitivity, right. you know. Um, I don't know if you ever do free diving or anything like that. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't get, I don't go much below the surface of the water. John does, though. He was a hard hat diver. <laughs> Blowing up things in the ocean and stuff. <laughs> Okay, I, I just saw you in the backyard with your COVID mask, what I thought, so I thought I should. No, I was just going to play with it as a, you know, see how long I could go uh, without training. Don't, don't pass out. Uh, I do, I mean, I, I do the stuff you're not supposed to do, like I put both the arms and legs on. Oh, no. You know, training Please, mode. I don't hear it. Mute. Mute. I, know, I don't hear it. I don't hear him <laughs> saying that. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no. Um, Didn't you okay. also take your kid for like a what was it like a three or four mile run at age what was it like a four. young yeah for how three miles? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure we're all on the same page here. <laughs> but I'm now I'm now sixty five, so I you know. <laughs> okay. All right, it's all yours, Laurel. Hi guys, happy Monday. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Um, I got some new pink bands, thanks to Steve. Uh, Bonnie, I see, I think you have matching ones as well. I like them. Fair, I like them a lot. Okay, uh, go ahead and pop your bands on. We're gonna start today with some funky neck stuff. So come on up to stand, grab your water, have a sip if you've not already done so. I'm gonna start my cycle. Um, and the initial step we're going to do is just to kind of stretch out, strengthen the neck a little bit, uh, and then we'll start to work our way down the body. So it looks very bizarre. Make this, pull your shoulders away from your ears, and just start to rock your head side to side. Think like, kind of a little like turtle movement. Yeah. And we want to do our best not to let our shoulders move, so we're just isolating the neck. Perfect. Good. Now, forwards and backwards. And it's hard to do these without laughing at myself. So if you feel ridiculous, I feel ridiculous. We're all doing this together. Good. Be more. And then start to rock your head side to side, but this time ear to opposite shoulder. This one's a nice stretch to open up the side of the neck. And lastly, let's draw some circles, chin into the chest, right ear to right shoulder, make a big circle dragging the back of the head along the neck, dropping left ear to left shoulder and bringing the head back through center. Let's take a couple more rotating through same direction. And Steve has informed me that in Japan, they do some of those neck things and they call it Katsu Beauty. So we're getting really jazzy today before we dive into our work. And, and come back through center, let's work the other way. Left ear to left shoulder. Imagine you're dragging the head along the back of your neck, bring it through and around and keep working through the same motion, doing our best not to let the shoulders move. And you might notice different sticky points in your neck, do your best to work through them. So keep making that circle. And, and we'll come back through. Last little bit of warm up before we dive into the work for the upper body. Both arms reach straight up. I'm coming down to my knees so you can see. Take them back and around. Now let's work the other way. Work straight up back behind us. Bring them around and forward. And I want you to keep going forwards and backwards with the arms, doing your best not to let your elbows bend. And just a reminder, we would not do overhead movements for strength. 
because the blood would be pooling in the wrong direction, but we can do overhead movements for stretching. Ooh, these ones are hard for me. Two more. Open up the chest and the shoulders. And if there's anyone on here who I haven't met today, I'm Laurel, nice to meet you. If you have questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. Or when we have breaks, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Last one, bring them all the way up and around. All right, now we're ready to start working into some more strength stuff with our forearms. We're gonna do what I call our forearm strengthening starfish. So I bring my arms up to the sides, make fists, fully extend to the fingers, and make fists. Stretch them out, squeeze, out, Squeeze. We've got 40 seconds, two sets. Go ahead and dive on in when you're ready. Time is rolling. Out and in. And we're going to start this, this first set nice and slow. And then we'll pick up the pace on the second set. Good. Out and in. Nice. Got Instagram going as well. A couple people have joined us there. We've got Zoom, forearm strengthening starfish. Squeezing something really strong as you grip those hands. Nice. Last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's see if we can take four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Give the shoulders a roll. Stretch them out. This next set of forearm starfish, we are going to move fast, as fast as you can. Keeping up the pace, we don't want to stop, okay? Extend the arms out by the sides. Forearm starfish, ready, set, go. 40 seconds, out and in. Good. Feeling those bands start to do their work. Ideally, by now, your forearms should already be starting to feel a little bit fatigued, and that's exactly what we want. So keep working through it. Yes, and we know because we've all, or most of us, have done these workouts before that our body can tolerate a lot. So because this is a very safe exercise, I encourage pushing yourself slightly beyond that point of comfort to keep working through it. Knowing, of course, our own limits of safety. Yes, 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 last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. My cycle just stopped. If you're stopped as well, go ahead and reset it. Next up, we're going to work into our triceps, back of the arms, with the side-lying tricep press. Go ahead and make your way down onto your side. I'm on my right. I'm going to take my bottom arm, wrap it around the body, hug myself. I take my top hand, root it into the floor. For 40 seconds, we're going to press all the way up and all the way back down. We come all the way up, all the way back down. Time is rolling. Let's do it. Good. And if you want more of a challenge, don't let that bottom shoulder touch the floor. So I go all the way up, part way down, all the way up, part way down. Oh, I see everyone working. Great. Good. Keep moving. Let's see who we've got on with us today. Awesome. Nice. All right. Keep going. Last 10. Good. We're going to pulse at the top in four, three, two. Press yourself all the way up. Little pulses down and down. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And if that doesn't fire up your tricep, I don't know what to tell you. Good job. Everyone looks great. Let's make our way onto the other side. We're going to do two sets of these. Okay, so we're on the second half of our first set. I take my bottom arm, wrap it around my body, give myself a hug. Top hand roots into the floor. 40 seconds, we are going all the way up, either all the way or part way down. All the way up. You can control how far down you want to go, how much strength you want to build here. Woo, yes. Happy Monday. We are half done. Keep it going, keep it going. Last 15 seconds. Sometimes one arm is stronger than the other. That's common. In 10, we're going to press up and pulse. Five, four, three, two. Press up, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 8, 
to and rest. Come on up to sit. Tricep stretch. Left hand between the shoulder blades. Tuck the elbow behind you. Switch sides. Right hand between the shoulder blades. One more time. Left hand. Switch it up. Right hand. And let's make our way back down to our first side. Wrap that bottom arm around you. Root the top hand into the mat. 40 seconds. We are going. Now we know the move. If you want to take it a little bit faster, you can. Mm -hmm. After this, we're going to move on to our bicep curl. Good. So if you want to fly through it, go for it. If not, you can take it nice and slow. And you can control that range of motion how far up you press. Oh, these look great. Nice. Good to see everyone. I miss you guys on the weekend. <laughs> Good. Good. We're going to pulse at the top in five, four, three, two. Press all the way up. Little pulses. Press, press. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's make our way onto the other side. Last half of our set. Kayleen, good to see you. It's been a minute. Bottom arm, wrap it around the body. Top arm roots in the floor. On your mark. Get set. Here we go. Up and down. Ooh, there we go. These look great. All right. We are half done. And let me see how we're doing. Beautiful. Last 10, then we're going to pulse at the top. Carolyn or Caroline, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I've not met you before. Good to see you. Good. We have six, five, four, three, and two. Press up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Tricep stretch. Bring the right arm across the body. Switch sides. Bring the left arm across the body. Go ahead and release it. And let's take some bicep curls. So drawing the elbows in towards the body, pick up your imaginary weight. We're going to go slow motion for the first set and a little bit faster for the second set. So first set, here we go. We're just going to pull fists in towards shoulders and release it down. We pull them in and release them down. Now this is my pace. Feel free to go faster if you want to, but we know that we have a second set coming up. So building something sustainable as we squeeze our upper arms into the midline of the body. And you can always do these at home with weights if you happen to have weights. The beautiful thing about our bands is we don't always need weights. We can always adjust our setting or squeeze exerting our own muscles. Last 10. Good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Shake the arms out. Ooh. We've got one more set. Get my band on right. Okay, quick bicep stretch. Go ahead and release the hands. And let's take our second set. Elbows come in. 40 seconds. Here we go. A little bit faster this time. Pump, pump, pump. After this, we're going to get our heart rate up. And then we have two more exercises. We'll get our heart rate up again. And then we'll swap out to our leg bands. So we're coming in the home stretch of our upper body work. Pump those arms in. Always okay to go faster, but we don't want to just flop our arms around. Really squeeze. Squeeze. Yeah, that's it. Woo, half done. Building bigger biceps. Awesome. Last 10. Give me everything you've got. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hey, my arms are feeling it. I like it. All right. Our heart rate boost moves of the day. We have three of them. We will do each of them for 30 seconds. The first one I call happy feet pause. Yes, I made this up. I want to see your happy feet pop. Happy feet pop. 
Okay, we're doing 30 seconds of that. Next 30 seconds, squat, touch, down, jack. I go up, touch, up, touch. Okay, so it's a half dummy jack, half squat jump. Next 30 seconds, we are doing inchworms. I walk it out, I walk it up, and I jump. Walk it out, walk it up, jump with the arms up and overhead. So first 30 seconds, happy feet, pause. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you count a little less, a little more, you got the drill. 30 seconds, ready, set, here we go. Get those legs moving. Woo! Pausing on one leg. Let me see you go really fast. Yeah, that's it. Try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. You can also get the arms involved if you want. Little tiny arms. <laughs> Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squat, touch, jacks. We go up, reach, up, Reach, time is rolling. Awesome. Woo, half done. Last 10, keep it moving. First six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the back of your workspace. 30 seconds, inchworms, go. Walk it out. Walk it up and jump. Keep moving. <laughs> After this, we'll take a sip of water. We'll take two more exercises. And then we'll move on. Good. As you take that jump, see if you can get your arms up and overhead, reach towards the ceiling, maybe even work towards tapping it or the sky if you're outside. Yes, that's it. Last six. Five, four, three. Two and one. Everybody make your way down onto your hands and knees. Good job. Shoulder tap, T-spine rotation. I make my way into plank. I tap my left hand to my right shoulder. Reach it up. Right hand to left shoulder. Rotate open. I'm going side to side. Reach, tap, and reach. First 40 seconds. Ready, set. Here we go. Tap, reach. Tap, reach. Keep going. You can always drop one knee or you can drop two knees if you need to. Oh, I said water break and I didn't do water break. I'm sorry, gang. I'm terrible. You guys look great though. So strong. Chris, good to see you. <laughs> yes. Oh, these look great. Good job, Instagram as well. Last 20 seconds. As you reach up, try and balance. Get that arm in line with the bottom shoulder. Nice, Bonnie. We have 10. Mm -hmm. Last seven, six, five, four. Great, Kaylin. Three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Walk your arms forward. Take a shoulder stretch. Let your belly, your chest melt down towards the floor. Yeah, three big breaths here. And walk your arms back towards your body. Let's work into the second side. Let us not forget, it is a tap, reach. So don't forget that shoulder tap, then you roll open if you can do it. Otherwise, you can totally do this on your knees. Tap, reach, okay? Second 40 second set on your mark, get set. Here we go. And it's not actually a race. So when I say on your mark, get that go, it's more to build excitement. The pace at which you do this totally depends on your comfort level with the exercise. Nice. Tap and reach. Keep working through it. Awesome. Woo! Good. Get that top arm in line with the bottom arm. Get it all the way up there. Last 15 seconds. It's not a race. The focus is on keeping that bottom arm balanced, building strength in the shoulders as well as the chest. Last 10. 
If you want to pick up the pace here, it feels good. Go for it. This is your chance. We have eight, seven, beautiful, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees. Give the shoulders a shrug. Our final exercise with our arm bands. I call forearm plank around the world. So I make my way down into a forearm plank. I reach my left arm forward, my right arm forward. I lift my right leg. I lift my left leg. So I'm essentially going around, lifting each limb while I'm in forearm plank. Totally okay also to do this on your knees. Wherever you are, notice my spine stays straight. No piking, no dipping, okay? So let's all make our way into forearm plank. First 40 seconds, here we go. We go arm, arm, leg, leg. That's it, arm, arm, leg, leg. That's the movement, we've got to keep going. knowing that this is our last arm exercise of the day so we can give it what we've got. Doesn't have to be fast. As you reach the arm forward, see if you can fully extend that arm straight so we can open up the shoulder a little bit as well. Great. Nice button. Good, hips stay stable, we're not rocking and rolling. Oh, Gabe, good to see you, looks great. Sophie and Sydney, I can see your arm flying and I like it. <laughs> last 15 seconds, keep going Instagram as well. Reach, reach, lift, and lift. Diane, I can see your curtain. <laughs> Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hop on up to stand. Let's grab a quick sip of water. We're going to get our heart rate elevated one more time, and then we'll swap out our bands and do the question of the day. All right. Ready? So first 30 seconds, we have happy feet pause. It's kind of like a run, lift, run, lift. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Run it out, pause. Run it out, pause. Good. Get going as fast as you can. Get those knees up. Woo. Is it silly? Absolutely. There's no reason why working out can't be. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping jack, squat reach. Jack, squat reach. We're going. Let me see a bend in those knees. Get your butt down and back on that squat. These ones are the hardest for me. My heart rate gets soaring. Woo, that's it. Good last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk to the back of your space. 30 seconds, inch worms. Let's go. Walk it out. Walk it back. Jump. Walk it out, walk it back. Big overhead jump. All right. We have had all kinds of questions for a question of the day. I know some of our favorite colors, favorite things to do on the weekend. We've had career discussions. We've had so many discussions. Last 10 seconds. Today we have an easy question of the day. Tell you what it is when we swap out the band in seven. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Let's swap out our bands. The question of the day is, when is your birthday? For anyone who would like to share. <laughs> I know Kayleen recently had a birthday. Anybody else? Come on, guys, you'll tell me what your biggest fears are, but you won't tell me your birthday. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> I know your favorite ice cream flavor. I'm not as well know. Kayleen was 
May 2nd. It was that long ago? Time is flying. Quentin, March 27th. Bonnie, March 25th. George, June 15th. Happy belated, George. Ah, see July 28th coming up. Okay. Got some March birthdays. Gabe is July 31st. All right. Well, I missed some people's birthdays. We've got some more coming up. Great. And mine isn't until September. So you will not have to do a special Laurel birthday workout for a while. <laughs> she says, Sydney is 10 minutes older than Sophia. Both were born October 2nd. <laughs> and Kaylin says July 16th coming up as well. We got a fair amount of July birthdays in the house. Cool. Chris is July 11th. Oh my gosh. Are we going to have to do like a full, just every single session will sing happy birthday in July. All right. Leg bands are going on. Thank you guys for sharing your birthdays with me. A lot of March. A lot of March in July. No September babies. All right. So we got our leg bands on. Had a solid upper body workout. Good job, everyone. Instagram, if you feel like sharing your birthday, you can throw it in the chat as well. Get those leg bands going. We're gonna start with some stretches to warm up the legs, and then we'll dive into our hard work. So far, everyone's having a really strong Monday from what I've seen. Good work, guys. All right. So once you get hooked up, pick your cycle, get it grooving, start to step the legs wide, hands on the hips, let's draw some big circles, open everything up. So we've already warmed up the body a fair amount because we've been doing our heart rate boost. Now we're just diving into it a little bit more, getting the legs used to having the bands on. Good, and work on the other way. Nice. Come back to center. We're gonna take wide-legged good mornings, hands to the shoulders. Keep the legs wide and straight, hinge forward, nice flat back. And squeeze your glutes, rise all the way up to stand. Hinge forward, nice flat back. And rise on up. Let's take four more. Keeping the legs as straight as you can. Imagine you're pulling your floor in opposite directions with your feet as you come down. Ooh, these are good. Backs are flat. I don't care how low you go. I do care that your spine stays straight and does not flex out. Last two. And final one, hinge into it and hold, just like our triceps. We're going to do little pulses this time in the names of stretching. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze your butt like heck. Come on up. Let's do our first exercise, working our calves. We're going to keep the legs wide. Angle the toes out. You can release your hands. We have sumo stance heel lift. So sumo, my feet are angled out to the sides a whole lot. I bend into my knees, sink my butt as low as I can, maybe give you a hips a little wiggle. That's just for fun. And now I start to lift alternating heels up and off the floor. Up and up. So this is what we're doing, 40 seconds. Dive in, lift and lift. Now, I want you to challenge yourself even more. Notice that my upper body between my head to my hips does not move. So I'm isolating the movement in my lower body, specifically my calves, up and up, and I like to take my hands to my hips to keep pressing them down. The lower you go, the harder this is gonna be. So if you want more of a challenge, get your butt even lower. Now, last little thing to note here, keep pressing the outer edges of your knees open. We don't wanna let them sag. That's it, good. Last 10. Sink those hips down even lower. Yes, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, lift your right heel, pulse it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You know it's coming, switch sides, pulse it. Get that heel up even higher, sink your butt down. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to stand, parallel the feet, rock the hips side to side. You can take a little bend and alternate knee. 
All right, we've got one more set. This time, I'd like you to either try and do the same thing, or if you are needing a little bit more today, because why not, it's Monday. I rotate my feet out, let's set it together. Bend into the knees, either one foot at a time or both heels up and down. 40 seconds, let's go. Ho, ho, yes. That's it. Good, same rule applies. My body does not move. Only my heels, my legs are coming up and off the floor. If you want, if you can, sink your butt even lower. Checking those knees, are they angled out? Nice, amazing. 12, 11, we're gonna pulse both heels in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift one heel, lift the other heel, little pulses with the butt, down and down. Yes, 10, nine, higher heels, eight, seven, go for that, shake that burn for four, three, two, and rise. Ooh, things feel it. They feel it. Kick your legs out. All right. Let's get our heart rate up. For this heart rate boost, I want to see those knees really high. One, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. Let's go. See if you can do this while keeping your spine straight. So try not to hunch down. I noticed I was doing that. One, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. Yes, get those knees up even higher. Now these are happy feet. Those are like sleepy feet. I'm guilty of it. Woo! Awesome, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jack, squat touch. Jack, squat touch, go. Don't leave me hanging. That's the stuff. Get those heart rates soaring. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five. In terms of four, three, two, and one. Come on, Mac. Walk it out. Walk it in. Jump. Walk it out. Walk it in. Arms up. Jump. Keep going. After this, we're going to take some water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, half done. Oh, so great. Get your arms up. Awesome, Gabe. 10, nine, eight, seven, go, Kayleen. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody grab water. Sophia and Sydney, I keep those of you guys just like flying. <laughs> I love it. All right, sip some water. Let the heart rate lower a little bit. Our next exercise is single leg lunge jumps. So let's let our heart rate mellow out a little bit. Because the next exercise is going to spike our heart rate again. Give it a quick pause. Carolyn, we're doing good? Yeah. Carolyn, Caroline? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry if I've seen you before. If I've, you've been here before, I just haven't recognize you so welcome if this is your first time <laughs> all right single leg lunge jumps so i'm only going to be working into my right leg then i'll work into my left leg on the second side i encourage you to try the jump if it doesn't work you can just pull the knee up so i'm going to step my right foot back jump take it back jump if the jump isn't happening and we want to get the arm going too for balance right so back up back, up. If the jump doesn't work, you can always come back. Step, back, hold, or even just a tap. But if you can give me a jump, I want to see a jump. All right, everyone up. First 40 seconds. On your marks, get set. Right foot back. Jump, back. Jump, get that back knee down towards the floor. Hop up at the top. Amazing. Good. See if you can get off your left foot, get some spring in that step. Yes. Oh, we're doing it around the board. Nice, Bonnie. 
Amazing. Last 10. Then we're going to go right into the other foot. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Step your right foot up. Step your left foot back. We're rolling. Jump. Back. Jump. Woo! What a day. What a day. After this, we take a break. A break? A break. And then we do our second set. Nice. Chest up. Keep the spine straight. 20 more seconds. Woo! There we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. 10. Last seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You can grab water if you want. You can kick it out. We have 10 seconds. Then we're going to jump into our second set. These look good. I saw everyone get like a little pep in their step at the top. We tried it. Even if it's not entirely comfortable, we're pushing ourselves. And that's what matters. All right. Step to the top of your workspace. Set that right foot back. Get your arms set up. Ready. Set. And here we go. Up. Back. Up. Get that knee down or onto the floor as you do it. And that's my pace. These don't have to be that fast. The point is you're doing the movement. You're controlling your body. If it needs to be slower, let it be slower. It's fine. Awesome. Hi, Jen. Welcome. <laughs> Half done. Either up or jump. Awesome. Last 10. Uh-huh. Keep going. Keep going. We have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Left leg, get it back. 40 seconds, last one. Ready, set, here we go. Get it up. Knee to floor, up and back. Always okay to step. Great, 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 great. I love it. After this, we take a sip of water. We have another exercise. <laughs> Woo! Using your core to get those knees up. Mm -hmm. 15 more seconds. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit. This is our home stretch of this work for the day. Last 10, 9, 8, 7. I know it's hard. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Water all around. Sip it out. Okay. Next exercise. It is a arm-based squat exercise. So I'm doing regular squats, but I'm adding arms. So on this first one, I step my feet, hip distance are slightly wider, angle my toes out. As I drop into a squat, I reach my arms forward. As I rise, I come onto my heels. So we're getting the calves as well. Next squat, I reach out to the side. I rise onto my heels. So I go forward, up, side, up, okay? Think zombie arms, think wings. <laughs> okay, we've only got two sets, 40 seconds each. Then we're going to get our heart rate up. We have one more leg-based exercise. And then we're going to come down and do some core. So we know that we're coming in the home stretch and we can absolutely do it. So step into the position. First 40 seconds, I drop my butt down, arms come forward, get those heels up, arms to the side, heels up. Now, this is the movement. If you want to make it faster, go for it. If you want to make it slower, that's fine too. Do what feels comfortable for your body. Get all the way up and off those heels. Now, what am I always going to yell at us about? Our spine. Are we rounding out or are we keeping our spine straight and sinking our butt back? And I want that nice straight spine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Good. And ideally, when we're lifting the arms up, they come all the way in line with the shoulders. So you don't need to come higher. Just shoulder height and down. So we're controlling our arms enough that they're not flying all over the place. Oh, you guys are making me so happy. Awesome, Kayleen. Good. All the way up onto those tiptoes. Balance, right? Yes. 
<laughs> Great, George. Last 10. Nice, Diane. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Check it out. Check it out. Those look good. You guys have mastered this. I have no comments. The only thing I noticed is sometimes when we brought our arms out, I felt like a little bend. So just try and keep your arms straight, no matter which way you're lifting them. And as we come down, only shoulder height. We don't need to go up higher. Rise, same thing. Shoulder height, rise. See, my arm was even up a little bit, even it out there. All right, second step in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Squat arms forward, lift, side, up, forward, lift, side, up. Keep going. My left arm just wants to sneak out there. Chest up, chest up. Great. Are we coming up off of our heels? I can't tell because I can't really see anyone's heels. There we go. Quit and I saw that. <laughs> I like it. Amazing. Half done. Woo. Nice. Some people are going fast. All right. I see you guys. Last 10. Gabe, that's a really low squat. Looks good. Getting your butt to the floor. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Gabe's like, here we go, guys. <laughs> awesome. All right. Heart rate boost. Last one of the day. Happy feet. Pause. Now notice if we're doing this. Happy feet. Pause. Use your core. Get the knee up. In three, two, one. Here we go. Run it out. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Pause. There we go. It's so tempting to do that. Don't do it. <laughs> Nice, half done. Woo, get that core involved. After our next exercise, we're coming down to do the core. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jack, squat reach. Jack, squat reach. Hop in. There we go. Half done. Get that butt down. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk the back of your workspace. In twin. Ready, set, go. Walk it out. Walk it out. Hop. Walk it out. Walk it in. Hop at the top. Arms are up. Keep going. Yeah. Woo, getting sweaty. Nice, nice, nice. Amazing. Good. Last 10. Give me two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Grab a sip of water. Breathe it out. Shake it out. Stretch it out. So this is going to be our hardest move of the day. We save it for last. Our muscles are all warm and strong and tired, and then we're going to do it. So it is a skater lunge to pistol squat. So it is a lot of balance. Feel free to grab a wall, a chair, a ledge, whatever you may want. This one we want to take as slow as possible. So it's two moves. I lift my foot off the floor. I bend into the standing leg, drop that knee down, come up, kick the foot forward, drop my butt down, come up, kick it back. Drop my butt down, come up, kick it forward, drop my butt down, come up, kick it back. It can be a baby movement, even if you're just doing this. I'm happy you're still working. In a crazy, crazy world, we do this. Let's see if I can even get it. All right, we come all the way down, kick it forward, come all the way down, and back up. <laughs> all right, starting with the right leg lifted. 40 seconds, only the right leg. 
work into it. Take your time, go slow. Think range of motion, how low can you go? More important than anything else you're doing. And your balance, and your balance. Mm -hmm. This is one of those ones that's just gonna be frustrated. It just is. It's not the most fun, but it builds strength. It builds balance. It builds patience. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wobble. Oh, nice game. Mm -hmm. See if you can keep your right foot off the floor the whole time. Skater lunge to pistol squat. Last 15 seconds. That's it. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. I saw everyone who had their screens on trying something, and that's the only thing I care about. I saw some of you getting lower and lower, which is cool. Your body gets more used to doing it. Kind of, it's kind of the pendulum thing. Let's work into the other side. Get the left foot off the floor. Lift your heel up. As you bend to the right knee, time's rolling. Go ahead and start. Get that back knee towards the floor. Come up, kick it through. Get your bottom towards the floor. Pick it up, kick it through. Now I've been yelling about our spines the whole time. See if you can keep your spine straight. I don't care what you do with your arms. If you want to take wings, take wings. If you want to take hands to hips, hands to an item. I see some looks of frustration and I understand. Fantastic. I'm not going to point anything out on anyone. Just know you guys are doing great because I don't want to distract you. Last 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. 10. See if you can do one more round. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Awesome. Step your feet parallel. Hands to the shoulders. Five normal good mornings. Release the back of the legs. Stretch it out. Five. Four. Those are so good. <laughs> good. Think about creating a little bend in your back if you can. Ooh, last two. And one. Good. Come on up to stand. Give the legs a shake. And for our last moves of the day, we're gonna work into the core. So make your way down onto your butt. We have three moves, 30 seconds each. I call these ones leg clocks or core clocks. I'm seated, I take my legs up, I circle my legs around to the right, 30 seconds of these. Now, your spine's gonna to wanna to round out. Try and keep the chest lifted. Make as big a circle as you can. We do 30 seconds the other way. And then we come down, 30 seconds reverse crunch, okay? So make your way up. If it's too hard to be on your hands, you can be on your forearms. 30 second core clock, time is going. Circle them around one way. And keep going that same direction. Ooh. And we've been doing 40 seconds of all of our exercises, so this isn't as bad. Woo, get those legs all the way up. There we go. Hey, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Circle them right around the other direction. Keep going. And do your best to keep your ankles glued together. Half done. Hey, last 10, and we're going to come all the way down for reverse crunch in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way down. 30 seconds, reverse crunch. Get it up. Get it down. Even if it's just half a centimeter off the floor, get it up and down. Time is going. Good. Awesome. Half done. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Last ten. Four more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody, pull your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Good. Start to rock and roll up and down along your spine until you come up to sit, maybe making your way all the way up. Stand. Let's open up our quads. Those are working a lot as we were doing our squat exercises and our leg circle. Go ahead and grab your left foot. You can hold on to something for balance if you want. Keep growing taller, pulling your knee back away from your body. You want to create length in the hip flexor or the front of the thigh. Totally fine to do this, grabbing onto something. Keep squeezing your butt, press your hips forward. And release it, switch sides. Go ahead and grab onto the left ankle, sorry, the right. The other one. And I'm gonna rotate to the side so you can see. My knee starts to come forward, I keep pulling it back and I press my hips forward. So knee back, hips up. Creating length. You want to grow taller, squeeze your butt. Good. And release it. The same thing we did in our inchworms, but this time we're just going to walk our hands down our legs, come into a forward fold, grab opposite elbow, rock side to side. And switch the grip of the elbows, opposite one on top. Shake your head, yes, uh-huh, we did a fantastic job. Release the elbows, let everything hang. Shake your head, no. On your next two exhales, let go of any tension you are holding in the body. Let everything hang and be heavy. And then after that, take a little bend in your knees, slowly roll up to stand, stacking one vertebrae at a time. And once you make your way up, roll the shoulders around. Reach the arms out to the side, roll the shoulders even more. Then bring your palms together, give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. Happy Monday, strong start to our week. Good to see everybody. We'll be back here tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.